Well, I am Dr. Kira Green. I'm the Executive Director of the Center on Policy Initiatives and Policy Action. And as Mr. Serrano mentioned, today is one day after the 53rd anniversary of the passage of the Voters Voting Rights Act of 1965. The purpose of that law was to remove barriers at state and local levels that prevented or significantly limited people from exercising their right to vote based on race. I want to make sure that everyone understands how the actions you've taken to deny voters the right to vote on the cha charter amendment that would move all final decisions on county elections to the November general election relate to the Voting Rights Act legacy. Your actions are a form of the shamefully discriminatory Jim Crow practices that the Voting Rights Act was intended to end. What your actions share with Jim Crow maneuvers is the use of dishonest, bureaucratic processes to limit the voices of, vo of voters of color, who in this case tend to be more proportionally represented during a November elections than June primary elections. You requested a laughable study of the impacts of the Charter Amendment as a delaying tactic to keep this off this November's ballot. Like the Jim Crow requirement that black voters guess the number of jelly beans in a jar to register to vote, I believe the courts will find that you did not have the legal right to request this useless study. And let's be clear about how useless it was. There is literally not a single fact listed in that report that was not available to you when you requested it, especially since a nearly identical measure was just adopted and implemented in the city of San Diego. Therefore, your purpose in requesting the report was to run out the clock on the measures supported by more than 100,000 San Diegans. So voters will not get a chance to vote until, November, until March 2020. In addition, you gave yourselves the opportunity to introduce another ballot measure, one that does not have 100,000 signatures. Your transparent goal is to confuse voters in March 2020. This is a disgrace. We know from both the signature gathering and from polling on the matter, polling that you've seen, that our measure enjoys widespread support from San Diegans regardless of race, geography, or which political party they are registered with. So you have denied voters their lawful right to move towards more democratic and racially just decision making this November. And why have you done this? We can only conclude that you do not believe that all of us have an equal right to have a say in how this county and this country are governed. You have done it because you fear that when we have an electorate that represents the age, race, income, and other diversities of this county, in other words, as we move toward a more perfect democracy, you and people who share your perspectives cannot win. Today, you are, attempt, you are demonstrating once again that whenever possible, you will attempt to delay justice and ultimately attempt to deny it. But you will not win because we shall overcome. Thank you.